What were you doing on the grounds, girls? We went there too. We thought that we could. We were just trying to. Break them. We would like to speak to a solicitor, please. All in good time. For the tape, the inspector is refusing us the right of legal representation. There is no tape. Oh, why can't we speak to a solicitor? I didn't say you couldn't. Oh, you're trying to stitch us up, Archie. Why would I do that? Because we're Fenians. That is a very serious allegation, girls. Are you denying that your organization is prejudiced, Inspector? For the tape, the inspector is refusing to answer. There is no tape. Hey, guys. Not thinking of entering, are you? We might be. That's cute. So cute. Oh, bring it on, bitches. This is Gabriel, our new plumber. This is our daughter, Erin. Well, hello there. Well, hello. <laughs> Erin. <laughs> and what age are you? Not five. He was whispering things to you, you know, suggestive things. My ma. He was coming on to my ma, what is he, some sort of reverse pedophile? Admit it, Gabriel, you're just a pervert with a jazzy jumper, ma finish! I'd rather not admit that if you don't mind. So this piece would concentrate on different shoes from around the world, sitting alongside pictures of, you know, different shoes from around the world. OK. So like how in Russia they wear boots because... It's Baltic. And in India they wear sandals because... It's boiling. So that's it, is it? Thoughts? I'm not totally convinced by either of them, if I'm honest. Oh, my God, they're shit. They're absolutely shit. How can we print this utter shit? OK, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic, James. Shoes of the world, what does that even mean? I'm just going to say it. I think Katia is planning on having sex with you tonight. I know. You know? I'm meeting her upstairs in a bit. She told me to have some food first. Apparently, sex uses up a lot of energy. You do not want to do this, James. Yes, I do. You're not ready for it? I am. She doesn't love you, James. She's just using you. Yeah, but the thing is, I don't care. I won't let you. I won't let you do it. You can't stop me. Fine. In that case, I'll just come and watch. What? You heard me, James. If you insist on going through with this, well, I'm, I'm going to make sure you don't enjoy it. It's still sticky. Hi. Hi, is it still sticky? Is it worse than when we started? I think it might be, yeah? Right. Oh, I see. Yeah, th this isn't Windeline. This is... This is mayonnaise. Great work, folks. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, everyone. It's been a productive morning. Vanilla will be absolutely thrilled. The path to peace is paved with tolerance and understanding. Violence is never the answer. I am going to ram that so far up your heart. I've never seen her this upset. I'm trying not to blame myself. I think you should blame yourself. Me too. What? That's sort of your fault, James. You tore the tickets off. What the hell were you thinking? I don't know. I, I was high on adrenaline. Anyways, what's it matter? I was never going to win that fight. The man's the size of a wardrobe. But you're English, James. About five of you managed to colonise half the planet, so, you know, we thought you might have something up your sleeve. Well, I didn't. Oh, dear God. We're all involved in this day. We'll decide what to do as a family. OK, and that's just the big clock. I saw with my own eyes. So what? She smirked. Who, big M? Hey, she just smirked at me. Are you sure you didn't just... Jesus! Me too. She just smirked at me too. Why isn't she smirking at me? She isn't smirking at anyone, James. I just saw too. The holy smirk, thanks be to God. You're imagining it. Three of us saw it, Erin. How do you explain that? Sleep deprivation? Perno? Delusional personality disorder. I really didn't want to have to do this. Jesus Christ! Get down! Everybody, get down! Is there something wrong with her? 
Stop that, Aaron. Sorry, Emma. You were saying? Hello there. Why don't you hop in? Oh, come on now. Don't be shy. Help, stranger, stranger, danger! Oh, Jesus Christ, Aaron! Help! This woman is trying to abduct us! Help! Fire! Oh, yeah. Get the fire! Fire! What the f are you about? Did he get to our tent to the rabbit somewhere? Kidnapper! Help! There's a kidnapper on fire! I've done a bit of an itinerary for your stay. You should have received a copy of my last letter. I don't read your letters, Aaron. I'm sorry. I don't follow. Your letters. They bore. They're boring. Exactly. What takes you to Belfast? I'm not really sure that... Speak up. I'm not really sure that that's any of your business. I'm going to assume that was an ill-judged attempt at humour, Miss Quinn. Yes. Close the door. No, Orla. Leave. Then close the door. I'm talking about the fact that she's a prostitute. <gasps> oh. I am prostitute? Oh, come off it, James. She's charging you for it, hasn't she? Just a minute. No, I mean, I don't think so. I mean, not that I wouldn't consider it. Ugh. How dare you? I am poor Ukrainian, so I must be prostitute. <laughs> Hear me out. First, she comes on to James here. What would possess her? Financial gain, that's what. He attractive boy, Erin. He's English, Katya. I have no problem with this. You should. Secondly, she owns condoms. They're in her bag. A whole packet, I've seen them, people. You are imbecile. An imbecile. And thirdly, all night, we Ukrainian fellas have been coming up and giving her money they owe her. How the hell do you explain that? I organize, how you say it, whip round. We'd like to buy Jenny present to thank her for a nice party. Oh, you guys. <laughs> right. OK. Yeah, that does sort of explain it. Hi. Oh, it's crawled out from under its rock, has it? You should be ashamed of yourself. I know. I'm sorry. It all just made me a bit nervous. Everything makes you nervous, Claire. You're a walking cack attack. I was going to tell you all earlier, but then Peter showed up and there's just this instant connection. Like a spark. There was no spark here. He said it was special. He also said your dead pet had been f***ing resurrected, so you know, pinch of salt. Yes. And now he's talking about digging him up. And when he does, he'll realise that Toto has not, in fact, been resurrected. He'll realise that Toto is just dead. Very, very dead. And we've all been talking shit. Why did you chase us? Because it dropped us. My purse? What does it think about us now? All right, I see you. We're travellers, which means we're psychopaths. Oh, uh, you were right there. Shut up, Orla. We're going after people and beat them up for no reason. No, look, that is a... We're travellers, so we're obviously violent. No, not at all. Listen, we have huge respect for you and your people. You have such a strong sense of community and such wonderful traditional values. <laughs> These lads bothering you, girls? Yes, yes, they are. They're f***ing mad men. They're going to kill us. Help us! Jump in. Don't tell me Charlene Calvin has gone. She is dying about herself. Oh, I'm so good looking. Oh, I'm so popular. If there ever was a more shallow, self-absorbed, genuinely unpleasant human being to Hi, be Aaron. Hi. Good. Grand. Not too bad. Can't complain. Is the answer I'd have given a few as to it was. Right. Are you signing up for Paris? I can't convince that lot to come. Looks like I'm going to need someone to hang out with. It would be an honour. Hey, well, I'll see you later then. You will, Charlene. Indeed you will! Did you hear that? The Charlene Gavin wants to hang around with little old me!